Hey guys, Yusuf is back with another war video. This is war number 10 of season 39. I haven't regularly been posting war videos. However, this one was really good. It was against Made in Brazil, uh, one of the top alliances in Masters right now. We are currently number three. The war has not ended yet. I'm very excited to see how we're going to go and end up. But I got five fights this, this war. I have Path 2, Section 1, Path 5, Section 2, and then Mini no, Number 39. I'm using some champs that I, I'm not normally used to using. I'm using Titania, Nimrod, and Overseer. So I'm excited to show you these fights. Okay, guys, so first fight is against No Number 5, Path Number 2 in Section 1. This is going to be my R4 Titania against this R4 Mango Eggnog. The nodes on this are really, really inconsequential to Titania. Titania does not gain any buffs, so therefore the placebo drip feed node doesn't really impact her whatsoever. Uh, Mango Eggnog is not going to be nullifying any buffs. My goal is to keep him underneath his 10 hatred by not doing 5 hit combos. I'm just stopping short at 3 or maybe a 4th. He does go into hatred uh, eventually in this fight, but I'm able to dex it no problem and stay out of his out of his way until the timer expires so what i was told with titania is pretty much you want to get to special three launch your special three and then just go ham into the uh, into whatever adversary you're going up against and uh with your haymaker running you're unblockable you're unstoppable and you're just gaining so so much more uh, uh attack so you see here he did go into hatred uh that was to be expected uh, I kept that in mind. I'm just backing off. I'm waiting patiently until it ends. Okay, it finally ends, and I go back into wailing it on into him, trying to build my special three. You are going to see me take a combo to the face. I did use an indestructible boost. This is a one of the final wars of the season, so there are no chances being taken. I'm fully boosted. I've got class boosts on as well, and uh, yeah, I'm just I want to win and not die if at all possible. So I launched my special three. I do have my Haymaker ready. I'm laying into him with all those debuffs onto him. Uh, I do, you, see, you see I did take a combo to the face, which was unfortunate, but again, didn't do any damage because I had that indestructible. I've got a special two ready. Just got to do one more opening and then launch the special two, and he's done. Okay, so one fight's down. Now is my next fight against Sorcerer Supreme, Node 14. I am using Overseer here, who does, does take advantage of the attack global. Uh, this is combat deja vu, placebo 3. Essentially, you don't want to use the same basic attack twice in a row. Has no fly count down. And then she is also a global defender for uh, unsteady ground. Now, this really doesn't pay play much of a factor in this fight. Again, I am fully boosted. I'm boosted from the last fight with Titanium. Uh, essentially here is she's going to be gaining power like crazy and uh, I'm going to take advantage of that as Overseer building up my co cosmic charges. I do have the indestructible boost still running so I'm not really worried about her getting to a special three uh, or at least to her fourth special three as long as I don't take any hits. Uh, but here you see she's gaining power. I am building up my cosmic charges. She is pretty happy throwing her specials, so that's great for me. She's really easy to dex or to take him into the block. She's up to a special two here, easy evade, no big deal. And I eventually am going to get her to cross to the special three uh, threshold, and she's going to launch her special three, but then right afterwards I'm going to launch my special three, and I'm going to have six Cosmic Charges running and Overseer of R4 o Overseer can pretty much kill any Mystic in the game. Now, I say that, however, my one death this season is using Overseer against America Chavez, a Mystic, and she just kicked my butt. That was against GT40, and uh, man, I'm, I still have nightmares about that fight. But this one goes really well. I launched my special three. It's going to start my, uh, I don't even remember what they call it, but the, uh, the Cosmic Overrun or whatever it is. She's down to 10% health, and that's going to be it, guys. Overseer's a boss. Okay, last three fights of the war. I was really lucky in this war where I could actually take my last three fights 
while I was in the mindset after I had bu done a bunch of dueling to make sure that I would take these guys all according to plan. I went over with my battle group officers, Clown and PWF, to make sure that I had the right strategy when it came to these three fights. This first fight, Node 29, Ebb and Flow, Intercept, as well as Sadist. I'm using Nimrod, which is the best champion to use against any mutant out there, with the exception of Bishop. Uh, but right here, I am being very cognizant of how many prowess she has built up, because I do not want to try to charge into her while she's phasing. I am blocking the SP2s because they don't do any damage whatsoever, and I'm building up to a special 2. Now this is a sp ebb and flow intercept, so it is best to intercept so you can lower the, take down that protection uh, before you launch your specials. Now here you can see that I launched my special 2 right before the protection comes back up. So it does nerf a bit of my damage with the special 2, but you can see I am getting her down. She is like down to 16, 17% right now. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to build up to another special, launch it into her, and then eventually chip her down. You can see that my health is doing really well here. This is the only fight that I'm using Nimrod for. I'm blocking the SP1s, so I'm not really concerned with any kind of modicum amount of, uh, of damage that I'm taking uh, as a result. I did not knock down the protection, did not intercept her before I launched that special 2. That's why she didn't die. However, she's at 0% now, and it's over. So I'm very happy how that fight went. Uh, Nimrod, <laughs> amazing against any mutant, with exception of Bishop. Okay, next one. This is no 37. It is another ebb and flow intercept, but it also has mighty charge, which means I'm not going to be able to, to uh, parry and stun her. Uh, now, this is the fight that I died against GT40 uh, this season against America Chavez using my R4 Overseer. Now, Black Widow, uh, Civil, uh, Black Widow Caravoyant is extremely easy and so much more easy than America Chavez uh, on this node. Again, Ebb and Flow Intercept. I look for my openings with the Intercept. I'm not really concerned about it until I get to my Special 3 and build up those Cosmic Charges. I'm, a lot, I'm baiting her Special 1, Special 2, which are really easy to avoid. And as long as she keeps gaining power, I keep on building up those cosmic charges, and eventually I'm just going to wail into her when I get to uh, to my special three, and then do a timely intercept. Um, I do get caught a couple uh, a couple times, uh, surprised. Um, I'm expecting to land a parry, and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I do land a parry, and it's not a problem. But uh, yeah, the uh, the mighty charge can definitely mess with you. Okay, so baiting out that, uh, that special two. I'm almost to my special three. All right, I'm gonna let her launch another special one and another special one so I can get my opening for the intercept. And here it comes pretty soon. There it is, production's down. Special three is being launched right now. It's gonna do some immense amount of damage. And especially when it comes out of the special three animation, uh, she is just going to absolutely melt because I'm gonna be so much more powerful. And it's gonna start that quote unquote cosmic overrun or whatever it's called. She launches a special one, and it just takes another combo to the face, and she is down. All right, so another great fight went exactly according to plan. Okay, last fight of the war. This is node 39. This is the mini boss at the end of section two, past four, five, and six. This is the mojo. This is the one I was worried about most in this war. I normally don't take Mojos, but now that I have a rank four Titania, I ha I was the best option for this. Best thing about Titania against Mojo is I don't have to worry about any of the prompts. Essentially, I'm not getting any buffs. I don't have to worry about, we have to worry about Mystic Dispersion. Absolutely fantastic matchup. And uh, kudos to Clown and Paul for doing such a great job this war assigning these paths. Okay, so you did see that I did heal up Titania. I, I am nervous about this. I wanna make sure that I am starting at 100% health I dueled and practiced against Mojo quite a bit. I practiced the medium light, light, light backdraft intercepts. I made sure that I had enough openings uh, to, to launch my attacks, made sure that I was able to take advantage of my Haymaker. And Titania, even for people who are brand new noobs to using this champ, she is extremely easy to use. All you do is you make sure you get to a special three, you launch your Haymaker, and then it's essentially over. I was a little worried about missing some of those intercepts, but again, uh, with her unstoppable and unblockable, it makes it really easy to op have those intercept openings. So it it was an absolute pleasure uh, taking this fight. You can see here that he is being very nice, uh, throwing his SP1s. I'm able to avoid them, no problem. I do somewhere in this fight towards the end, I do take a combo 
uh, or a special one to the face. And uh, but I am using an a indestructible boost, so really not a big deal. He does back me up against the wall, but again, I'm almost by special three. I intercept, I launch it, and you're just going to see his health just absolutely go. Now, unfortunately, he was over a bar of power. So when I do launch the special three, he is going to be almost at two bars of power. And I want to make sure that I do bait out that special one before I go back into him and start punishing him some more. Um, I am almost up to my second uh, bar power. And you can see there I do take that uh, special one to the face. That's great. I am going to launch my special two. And that's going to be it. Easy fight, easy life. And that's going to be the end of the war for me. Uh, five fights. Everything went extremely well. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.